It's been a battle to contain a fire that consumed multiple containers on a ship anchored off Victoria. The ship was mostly evacuated, with just a handful of crew left on board to fight the fire. They were joined by vessels working to cool the ship's hull. By the afternoon, the Coast Guard said things were under control. The next stages are going to be for very specific hazardous material firefighters to go board that and then basically corner to corner, sea can to sea can, look at uh, if there is any continuing fire. Those special firefighters needed because of what was burning. The material that, uh, you know, that, that we suspect uh, caused the fire on board uh, as well is a, a compound uh, called uh, potassium xanthate, which is uh, defined as hazardous. That has Victoria residents worried about air quality. The province says it's monitoring the situation, but there is no current risk. But a bigger problem may be the 40 containers that fell off that ship on Friday in rough seas. Two are filled with that same hazardous material. The U.S. Coast Guard is watching closely. Because they are um, combustibles, we have a chance of that going off inside the containers while they're floating in the water. However, as of now, we're currently making sure that we're monitoring them. Experts say incidents of containers falling off ships are becoming more regular. There is some discussion in the community about whether that is due to the fact that there are larger ships being built every year and that, that perhaps storms in the Pacific in particular are more intense. This former seaman questions why it happened at all. You shouldn't lose freight like that. You know, when it's that bad, you slow down, you go into the sea and you ride it out. For now, the search for those missing containers is on hold as a powerful storm approaches BC's south coast. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.